Good morning and welcome to Apron Strings. Glad to have y'all in the kitchen with me. Here in Texas, it's cold for us. It's in the 40s outside and I'm about to freeze to death. But uh, to you northerners, that's just a mild day. Um, I'm going to make a side dish for y'all today and it's a good one. One that you can use with a lot of different things. It goes really good if you cook a pot of beans or as a side dish with your meal. It's sour cream rice and it has some corn in it, cilantro, a little bit of uh, green chilies, cheese of course, and we're going to get it going so we can have some to eat. So the first thing we need to do, you need a can of uh, chicken broth, a 14, 14 and a half ounce can, and we got to get that to boiling, and then we're going to add our rice, and when all the liquid is absorbed, of course, the rice will be done and ready for us to get on with the casserole. Come on, light. Okay, I'm just going to leave that on high to bring that on up to a boil. And I'm just using Kroger chicken broth. We're going to bring that to a boil. We're going to add the rice to it, and it'll take it about 20 minutes. And then we will assemble the casserole and get it in the June oven. I've got it preheating, and we'll have us a good side dish. And I've got two or three more that I'm going to make. Uh, hopefully, I can get them done in case y'all want to use them during the week of Thanksgiving or if you have guests coming before and staying after, it'll be sick. some different dishes that you can cook. So, I told y'all the other day that I was substituting at the school some. Well, I just got a phone call. I had been scheduled for one particular class, but yesterday I worked in the home ec department and loved it. And uh, so I get to go there again this afternoon. So that's going to be a fun day for me. So I'm going to get a video made where y'all have something to look at and cook and eat. While I'm playing teacher, I'll be back in a minute when I'm ready to put the rice in, and then uh, we'll just let it cook 20 minutes, and then we'll get everything put together. So my water is boiling a full boil, which means it's just a rolling and a tumbling. I'm going to add my rice and cut it down on low and let it cook until the rice is done, and then we'll put the other stuff together and make us a yummy dish. And I like jasmine rice. You can use whatever kind you usually use, but that's my rice of choice. And I got me a 50-pound bag a good while back at Sam's for $16. At Costco, it's $50-something dollars a bag. But uh, Sam's, I noticed last week, they still have it. But it's more than 16 but it's not an awful amount. So, okay, let me cut it down to a simmer. And set my timer where I'll be sure and watch it for about 20 minutes. And then we can finish this up. Get it in the oven to melt the cheese and get it all bubbly and married together and tasting good. And I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, y'all, the rice is done. And it's got just a little bit of a bite left to it because I usually do cook two, two times the water to the rice. And one of those cans is not quite two cups. But it's going to cook with some more stuff that's going to be liquidy. And so I know that it's going to be okay when it's finished. But don't let that alarm you if it's just a tad. It's still chewy, but not real, real soft. So we're going to add to that one cup of sour cream. And it said one can of a four ounce can of green chilies. Well, I've learned that you can buy that jar at Costco. And uh, in the long run, it's cheaper. And you've got what you need in the icebox to your jars go. So, I just measured me out four ounces here. 
need a fourth of a cup of chopped fresh cilantro. Mix that all in. And you can use one can of drained whole kernel corn, but I like to use two cups of frozen whole kernel corn because I just like the I like it fresh. When you buy frozen, it's fresh and quick frozen, and it's the closest you're going to get to growing it in your garden and bringing it in the house. There's not preservatives and all in it. Okay, and we need a cup of cheese, so we put a half a cup of it in here. And I don't measure real well, so I'm just stirring some in. The recipe doesn't call for it, but can anybody guess what I added to the rice when I was cooking it? And you need garlic powder. Okay, I've got this all stirred up together. I'm going to get it in my pan here. It's, the recipe actually calls for an 8 by 8 but it's mine, so I can do what I want to, and I'm going to put it in this little baking dish. Makes a nice size casserole, and it's very good. I'm all about a good casserole. Well, it's actually not considered a casserole. It doesn't have any meat in it. It's a side. Y'all, I put a, I had a old-fashioned big old thermos. I'll show y'all in a minute. Up on the top shelf of the pantry over here, and I couldn't reach it. But you know how sometimes when you reach up, you just kind of put your fingers under the edge of something, and it falls, and you catch it? Well, it fell, and I didn't catch it. And look here on the side of my head. Can you see that? I had a punk knot come up on my head, big as half of a ping pong ball immediately. And I bled. I called Troy and he come in here and put pressure on it and finally stopped bleeding. And I was fixing to go to work. And then I looked down and it had bounced down and got the corner and got my hand. And look at this, it's, it's plastic. <clears throat> it's an old, old one. And I guess this right, this plastic right here caught me on the head and just the weight, because it's heavy. I've got a bobo right here, and it looks like i got a black eye. Now, with the rest of our cheese, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit around on the top. I might have should have saved a little bit more to make it look better, but guess what? I didn't grate but just this much, so this is what we're going to use. It actually says a half a cup in the recipe and a half a cup on top, so. Let me show y'all how pretty it looks raw, and then I'll show you how pretty it looks cooked. So I'm going to get it in the June oven at uh, 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Then we'll be back taste of it. Okay, y'all, I got it out of the oven, and it's piping hot, so I'm going to let it cool just a little bit, but it's pretty, and an awesome side dish for to use for Thanksgiving or for your everyday meals or whatever. You could use um, leftover rice if you had a cup or two cups left over, then you could put all the ingredients with it and make this a uh, side dish, so you could cook rice to go with something today. And then tomorrow, you could use that same cooked rice and make this casserole. I done had a little thief over here in my side dish. Troy done come in here and got him a spoon and got a few bites, and he said it's good. Um, I want a taste of it. I imagine it's a little bit spicy, and you can put less green chilies or more if you want to. You could actually use bell pepper or something like that if you don't like the spice, but I like the spice, so let's taste it. It's very good. I 
I like a contrast of flavors. And your whole kernel corn is kind of sweet. And then you've got the seasoned rice. And I told you, I put probably two teaspoons of onion powders and three-fourths teaspoon of garlic powder in my rice when I cooked it. That's not on the recipe card. And you've got the spice from the chilies and the cheese adds a different little twist to it. It's a very good side dish. So you could make a meat, your choice, and make this side dish and have a green salad and have a good meal. So you could add some rotisserie chicken to this and have a, an actual meal out of this side dish. So there's a lot of variations. Y'all stay tuned. I've got a few more good ones coming up that I think you're going to like. And I'm trying to um, make videos even though I'm working some. I'm trying to keep up with this too. So y'all stay tuned. And we're going to have Christmas goodies pretty soon. The next week there's no school so of course I won't be working. We are going to go to my son's for Thanksgiving for a day or two. But I'm going to try to get started on my Christmas goodies. So, we'll have some good, fattening, yummy stuff coming up for the Christmas holidays. Good Lord bless and keep y'all. I hope you're stocking your pantry. Y'all know how I feel about that. And when you hear or you read where people are talking on your different Facebook groups, etc., and that they went to the store and they were out of this and they were out of that, and eggs is the big thing right now that they're talking about. I don't know what the deal is. I got chickens. But a lot of places don't have eggs or they're so stinking high. So get your stuff for your holiday cooking while you can. If, if it's on the shelf, then you won't have to worry till January. The Lord, good Lord bless and keep y'all. Hurry on back here in a day or two and we'll have something else good.